Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to take a look at a history of all of the character rebalancing updates and sub updates that Netmarble has made since the beginning of Marvel Future Fight. Because in yesterday's video, I talked about why we're getting so many overpowered characters, but we're not getting any kind of rebalancing even in the form of uniforms. So I wanted to now take a look back and see kind of the progression of character rebalancings from, you know, June of 2015, which is more than two years ago until now, and kind of show you guys so that you can track and follow along and see just how much effort Netmarble has been putting into updating these characters as we get them into the game. So I wanted to start all the way back, far back in the game, you might not have remembered this, but in patch 1.4.2, yes, this is um, September 16th, 2015, so the game had only been out for about four or five months, very new game still, they had a 19 character rebalancing update. This update was centered around rebalancing nearly 20 characters. This is probably, at this time, this was close to 25% of the roster, if not more than that. We had less than 100 characters, and we had 20 of them being rebalanced. This is a huge update, and you can go ahead and find all this information. I link below to the, the original list that I found on Reddit, and that I go to from time to time to reminisce and to pull up research uh, and do stuff like that. But you can see that there's a lot of effort being put into rebalancing characters. A few updates later with patch 1.6, we got another bit of character rebalancing. We got kind of a Halloween update. This is on October 24th of 2015. So again, this is like more than two years ago. And we get some character rebalancing here towards the bottom for some of these characters specifically. So we have new six star skills and we also have new rebalancing for both Thor and Black Bolt. Then very next patch, we have the 1.7 patch notes, which was the kind of defenders coming into the game, Jessica Jones, new uniforms, as you can see here. And wouldn't you know, on top of those new uniforms, we have some character rebalancing. 10 characters getting rebalanced, some of whom might be part of the defenders or part of some of these upgrades with some of these uniforms, and some of them who are just, yeah, randomly slotted in there, like Dr. Octopus, Malekith, Black Bolt. So... Basically, back-to-back -back patches, Thor and Black Bolt got character rebalancing. That's cool, right? Couple updates later, patch 1.8. We have the Spider-Verse update with the long-awaited Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales, in addition to Silk, who has been had been requested for a long time. Bunch of new uniforms. On top of those new uniforms and new skills, you had character rebalancing for, what is that, a dozen characters? 12 characters getting rebalanced. And you have to see the mood and how the mood has shifted from then till now. So the, it's really close, careful consideration to some of the stuff here. These updates were being posted with these graphics, character, balancing, and all these little icons. Look at how much effort Netmarble was putting into at this time, okay, when the game was less than 10 months old, uh, how much effort they're putting into these things. Look at all of this text. Look at all of the specificity with which they're not only upgrading and updating these characters, but they're letting us know. Captain Marvel, damage increased, skill mechanics changed. Look at the, the level of detail. This is what we came to know and expect and appreciate about this game, that we are knowing, maybe not the exact numbers, okay? Cooldown time decreased. We don't know if it's one second or half a second or whatever, but we know exactly what's being tweaked. Compare that to what happened, the fiasco with Thor's uniform. We have no idea what the text was supposed to read. We only have the guesses of the community. And the damage goes from completely unbalanced spiking damage that's bugging the game out and causing you to crash or lag out to pathetic damage that makes the Thor's new uniform almost not recommended to purchase. I don't see a difference there, do you? No, I see a big difference, actually. Moving on, patch 1.9. So literally two updates later, if we had 1.8.5 to 1.9 from 1.8. We have some new uniforms, we have some new six stars, and then look again, once again, character balancing. We have, how many is this time? 15 characters being rebalanced. We had 19, we had 12, we had 15. So 
much care and attention being put into new and existing characters. Because I just mentioned the Spider-Verse character, and lo and behold, Silk and Spider-Gwen are both here up for rebalancing after being introduced into the game. So Netmarble can, they definitely know how to rebalance characters right after they're released. Whether they rebalance them or not, that remains to be seen. Then patch 1.9.5, again, a couple updates later, we have some new uniforms, some new six star skills. And this was the one that had a bit of controversy surrounding it. So we have this character rebalancing and again, huge list 15 characters some of them getting repeat revamps drac was on the drax was on the last list plus this list you see miles morales joining this list he probably should have been in the last one with silk and uh, spider gwen but we also have green goblin so green goblin got his fifth skill uh, or his six star skill and then they changed it uh, a couple updates later which made the community very angry but then we had patch 2.1 this was after the black order uh you know one year anniversary update 2.0 kind of drama as you can see we have the second part of the black order coming in we have a couple new characters a couple new uh uniforms and then we have some minor character rebalancing for certain characters so you can see here not here sorry if we get down a little bit further it's actually right down at the end we have some upgrades some rebalancing for a lot of characters yeah it's not a big rebalancing but it is a lot of effort again I'm trying to illustrate how much effort Netmarble used to put into taking a look at their entire roster versus now just focusing on the brand new characters again very small skill changes or very small effects being altered with this skill improvement character update kind of part patch but there's like what 30 characters here a couple update later couple updates later patch 2.1.5 this is the continuation of civil war and we have moon knight as a new character we got some new civil war uniforms yada 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 new skills character improvements again black panther carnage black widow agent 13 more character revamps then we have new tier 2 skills now we're we're down to october 6th 2016 okay new characters and here is where we're getting existing tweaks. Blade gets his leadership buffed. Green Goblin gets his fifth skill massively nerfed, aerial charge, and everyone loses their collective minds. Another patch a couple weeks later, this is November 15th of the same year, we have the A-Force, and then we have this massive skill rebalancing for these new characters. Look at this. These are not new characters per se, but they did get their tier 2 passives. And wow, look at this. On top of their tier 2 passives, which by the way, there was not much investment to tier 2 these characters, okay? Look at the skill balance changes. Look at the detail. Look at how much text is involved and how much testing they had to do on their end. Patch 2.7. We're now into 2016 of December 6th. This is almost coming up to this year this was the odin update we very familiar with this one introducing uru and stuff like that and if we scroll down we have new uniforms we have a new what was that just no tier two skills but then more importantly we have character rebalancing and one thing i want to make particularly clear about this update is this is a really big update introducing new game modes introducing changes to existing game modes like king of the hill introducing a whole bunch of new content and they still had time netmarble still had effort and energy and they still had manpower to make pretty drastic skill changes and you know rebalancing this did have a pretty big impact on captain marvel Thor had some changes, Sif had some changes, Wong had changes, White Tiger had changes, in addition to all these other changes. Patch, 21st of December, 2016. We got four new Tier 2s. Massive character rebalancing for those characters. Angela getting, getting some iframes, Hulkbuster getting some damage, Black Panther getting some, you know, a lot of different changes. Claw Slash following the target's movements, skill radius increase, passive change leadership change tier 2 change black panther got a rework and this is where he became a good character but you can see the level of effort on net marbles part we come now to january 10th 2017 the 2.8 marvel now update we get the uh the three ladies we get the uh, two new 
tier twos and the new uniforms five new uniforms we get the uniform upgrade thing the entire hierarchy of the uniform upgrade system is introduced in this update so update 2.8 was pretty massive if you think of the scale in terms of how many things they had to code they had to select five different uniforms to correlate to one specific uniform for every single uniform in the game they added all the uniform ranks they added all the uniform skills and effects and buffs and how much they go up by depending on what level the other uniforms are at okay this was the original uniform upgrade system which was very flawed but on top of all of this new update new characters new game mechanics major shift in game mechanics new uniforms new tier twos they find the time i don't know how they did it i don't know where netmarble found the time to completely facelift electra this was one of the most drastic character rebalancings of all time and thinking back on it i would have told you oh they rebalanced electra by herself there's no way they could have thrown electra into a whole update oh they did and they didn't just throw electra they threw hulk and red hulk in there too oh yeah and they threw captain america are you kidding me this is probably single-handedly the biggest character rebalancing and the most impactful of all time they took hulk and red hulk from terrible to actually decent characters this was the update and this all came packaged together with actual characters uniforms and game content i know it blows your mind right compared to something like age of apocalypse which was a giant debacle of crappy non-stuff then we had the other january tier 2 update so in the same month as character rebalancings to Electra, Hulk, Red Hulk, and Captain America, Netmarble finds the time to release a whack of new uniforms and tier 2 effects and massive character rebalancing for these same characters. March 7th, same year. So we're, we're, we're catching up to ourselves now. We have four new tier 2s, and oh, look what we have here character balancing for those characters Phil Coulson, Lincoln Campbell. Daisy Johnson. Nothing for Deathlock. Okay. April mid-month balance patch. Words I have not heard in months. A balance patch. Wow, what is that, Netmarble? I don't even know. But we had balancings to Vision, Crossbones, uh, Crossbones with his uniform, Kid Kaiju, and other changes for She-Hulk and her uniform. Then we had another one by CM Double D. Short-lived. R.I.P. On May... 24th captain america gets a massive overhaul to become the tank that we now know and love not that we needed him to be but okay black widow gets a big buff sure and we come now to the last character rebalancing of any significance whatsoever this is july 4th 2017 update 3.2 spider-man homecoming we get seven new characters, we get three new uniforms, and we get pretty substantial changes and rebalancings to both Spider-Man and Iron Man. Since July, we have not seen anything even approaching the level of effort that Netmarble used to put in. We did get some character rebalancing in uh, September 8th on September 8th with the 3.3 update uh, when we got Spider-Man 2099 we did get some small changes to Black Widow Captain America and Daredevil I just want to mention them because I know that people might get upset uh, that I'm not being you know crystal clear and I'm not showing you all the facts um, by cherry picking certain data okay I'm not trying to do that But the fact of the matter remains, Netmarble has shown a consistent lack of effort in the last, I would say, six months, but more conservatively, four months, to make any kind of real 
character rebalancings or changes to existing characters. And I know some of you will argue that, well, we're getting new uniforms for Hulk, Thor, Loki, Hela, aren't those character rebalancings? Well, they are. But even then, it's not enough. Even if you count the uniforms, there are countless characters that need those uniforms that aren't getting them. What is taking so long? It probably takes just as long to rebalance an existing character as it does to come up with a uniform for that character and rebalance them at the same time. I understand that there's some issue involved with contacting Marvel for IP rights in terms of using certain intellectual property, certain art design and stuff like that and it does take the art team to go in and design the uniform and skill change effects and stuff like that but really even if they only did one per update and this is now with the knowledge that they were used to doing upwards of 19 so almost 1 20th of the effort I'm sure that they could fit that into their busy, busy schedules. Between counting money from loot boxes and trying to figure out the next new way to kind of stab us in the gut about new characters, couldn't they at least come up with a new uniform for Ultron, a uniform for Sin, a new uniform for Hawkeye? These are not lame characters. These are not boring characters or nobody characters these are characters that you could design updates around these are characters that you could run advertisements for that people young and old casual and hardcore marvel fans will recognize everybody knows who hawkeye is he's the weird dude with the bow and arrow that gets to fight alongside a giant green monster and an 80 year old war veteran you know Everyone's gonna recognize Ultron. Oh yeah, it's the killer robot that Iron Man made. Everybody knows that. He didn't really make it, but just follow the MCU, okay? Seriously, I'm trying to point this out to you guys so that we can all collectively realize that there has been a massive, massive ball being dropped. And that ball was any kind of responsibility and accountability on Netmarble's part to rebalance existing characters. They're not going to give us new game modes. They're not going to balance existing game modes. They're not going to rebalance existing characters. What's the point? Then what, what are we waiting for then? Just some new anti-man and new Nova to come around. I don't think I'm going to wait that long for those characters, if I'm going to wait at all. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit me up with your uh, ideas and your opinions about uh, you know, Netmarble's track record of being amazing with character rebalancing and now being a massive disappointment with character rebalancing. Hit me up with some other information. Try to make me smile. I know you probably need it as much as I do. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. And of course... If you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.